let's check out Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs. That's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to go check out Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs up here in the northwest part of the valley. We exited Durango off of 95 and we headed east and now we took Brent Lane, um, right, to go right on Brent Lane and now we are going, sorry someone's calling me, going down this road to the Tule Springs area, which is nice. Now there is a visitor fee of $6 per car, so I'm gonna stop right now and pay that fee, and then we're gonna get out of the car and tour this awesome park, and I'm gonna go into detail about it as well. So hold on. Hello. Hi there, how are you? Good, how are you? Military veteran or disabled? No. Okay. Do you have a one and give you 15? Minutes? I wish. Just got that 20. Listen to some dead while I'm at it. Got my representing Grateful Dead t shirt. <laughs> I haven't been here since my kids were extremely young. So it's been a minute. Their daddy lives up in this area. Keep your receipt. It's good until 8 o'clock tonight. If you want to leave, come back. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. $6 fee. I think I'm gonna drive around this park first before we park and then we'll go and walk around it and see what it's all about. Looks like a handful of people are here. It's nice. Wow. It's kind of full. I do believe they sell daily or um, yearly passes. I think it's like $45. Group picnics. I mean, it's been probably at least 18 years since I've been here. Wow. They do have four lakes in this um, park, and they all are stocked with trout, but you have to have a Nevada fishing license in order to go fishing in the lakes. Just FYI on that. And I think. This whole park is, let me see, over 2,000 acres, so it's a very large park. Feels like we're not in Vegas anymore. Right. And Joey's never been here before. No. no. So they have a lot of picnic areas, beautiful lakes, parking lot three. I'm sure they have walking paths. Wow, the beautiful mountain views. Parking lot four. I don't know where I want to park. Hmm. Oh, wow. Welcome to the Nevada Division of Forestry, Las Vegas State Tree Nursery. Huh, open to the public. Kind of reminds me of Red Rock Canyon where you have to do the loop, <laughs> a, a loop around the canyon. Yeah. So we're doing a loop. I can already smell it. Oh, that's it. I can smell it from the rain. Mm -hmm. The mighty wind come on without. Volleyball. 
ball court. This looks like a boring park right here, this part. Bet you bumps come lay out over here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of trees those are. tour this awesome park. See you on the flip side. Okay. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It's so serene out here. It's very peaceful. We're in, a, we're in parking lot four. We're going to head to a, a big lake up here. This is a cool map of the Tule Springs area of Floyd Lamb Park and it shows you we are right here and we just was looking at this water feature right here. We're going to continue back driving, possibly stop right here and then drive and go to the big lake and then end up over here at the Tule Springs Ranch historic area. Pretty cool. See what this little sign thing says. So this park includes the Tule Springs Ranch, Tule Springs Archaeological Site, Tule Springs Wash, and obviously the four lakes in here as well. It's 
just go over a few things. That must be the historic horse ranch. Back in 1954, a group of businessmen who formed the Tule Springs Investment Company bought Tule Springs. They leased out the ranch until the city of Las Vegas bought it in 1964, which is when the springs was first designated as a park. It was renamed Floyd Lamb Park in 1977 when the state assumed control of this park. And it was named after Nevada State Senator Floyd Lamb. The city took control of the park for a second time when the legislature and state in 2005 agreed to release control and ownership of Floyd Lamb State Park to the city of Las Vegas. The city was transferred the park was transferred to the city in July 2nd, 2007. Hey, that's my birthday. And renamed Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs. In addition to the park, the city received control of 1,300 acres from the Business of Land Management. Oh, I would like to see a peacock. They said there's peacocks in here. It doesn't phase them. <laughs> They're beautiful. These are interesting. What are, I mean, are these ducks too? They're funny looking little black guys. Floyd Lamb Park is also home to the historic Tule Springs Ranch, which offers visitors a unique look at early ranch life in the region. And they also have fossilized remains of ex extinct animals, including mammoths, horses, giant sloths, camels, and bison. So we're going to go find out where this ranch is. Obviously, this is part of it. But I'm sure there's more to it than just this little barn unit. This is neat. Let's 
see what this says. Shows you the agriculture at Tule Springs. I don't know if you can read it. It says from 1941 to 1959, Tule Springs Ranch serves as a working farm and ranch. The irrigation of the site was of utmost importance to the success of the ranch and farming operations, making farming feasible in southern Nevada desert. The site's irrigation also made possible various recreational amenities such as a swimming pool, suspension bridge, and water wheel. The land was first cleared and graded to ensure that gravity would affect the flow of water when the laterals were constructed. An innovative irrigation system was funded by Galman Butt, designed by Cliff Devinney, sorry for pronouncing. A 600-foot well was drilled by a contractor and in 1943. So the water was pumped from this and other artisan wells at the ranch and distributed via a system of concrete laterals with control gates. Rubber hoses, I'm not going to read all this, so that's pretty interesting. We'll take a walk around and maybe lead up to there. I like that they have these little small bits in the Adobe Hut. Construction 1910. Wow. That's crazy. this one site of tennis courts I guess there's tennis courts over here too I like this I think it's pretty neat that they have these little historical landmarks they need to update them oh there's a peacock See the peacock? That's cool. Beautiful. Oh, there's another peacock. Cool. Ah, they need to update these. Settlement of Tule Springs. Hopefully the wind is not going to be bad. The suspension bridge and the guest house. Huh. This was constructed in 1951. Oh look, it has its own little water bowl. Do you see it? <laughs> so these were guest quarters. That's dead bolted. I want to go on this bridge. Get my exercise for today. Good thing I wore tennis shoes. Look at this. So neat. I don't remember seeing this when my kids were little. I think we just went to the park area. Some sort of duplex for guest quarters. I like how it tells you when it was built too. And this is the swimming pool. I don't see a swimming pool now. Built in 1948. It's cool that it tells you where everything is at. This was probably in the heyday, very nice. Generator building, kind of looks like a church.
Ha. What does this say? Bathhouse. Huh. Diesel oil support. Spring house well and powerhouse. This must be the well. This is new. Oh, they probably closed it up. I bet you that where's a well right there. Site of gun house. Oh, okay, so where are we at? You are here. Huh. You can get lost in here. Just follow the paths. Water tower. So this is the water tower built in 1942. Oh, look at that peacock right yeah, there. Wow. Oh, that's a hawk. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Exit front door. Root cellar. Oh, that's cool. The cellar right there. Tilly Springs Divorce Ranch. <laughs> hmm. That is hilarious. I just want to see what these signs say. Outdoor fireplace. So that's the outdoor fireplace. And then pump house and water wheel. So it seems like a lot of these were built in the early 40s, 42 and 48. So it must have taken some time to build all of this. Oh my gosh. We gotta go look at that peacock. See what's in the middle. What does that say? Looks like it's a memorial and then they planted it. We've seen a couple of those throughout here. Love beautiful colors of the peacock. Doesn't even phase them that I'm by them. Little gazebo. <sighs> oh, let's see what that says. Historic area. 
So they had hog houses, cow barn, and a chicken house. And that's what the entrance to Julie Springs used to look like. Let's see what this thing is. Foreman's house. So they call this a ranch style residence. This is what the houses look like in the 40s. Wow. <laughs> I'm amazed by all these beautiful peacocks. This was built in 1944. the path keep on going there's something over there where people are sitting so this is where we're at the historic area right here I would love to see a peacock spread its what are they called feathers yeah you got to start over let's see let's go this way Right there, to your right. I mean, look at the beautiful colors. There's a lot of them. They're just hiding in plain sight. Nope. Very majestic animals. Let's see what this little thing is right here. Park office. Well, that concludes my tour of Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it, if you've ever been here before. I really enjoyed taking you on this tour. Joey asked me, why do you need footage of all of this? And I said, well, you know, just in case people want to know what is out here in Las Vegas besides the strip, we do have other natural habitats. Well, I wouldn't say natural, but we have this beautiful Tule Springs with the four lakes, fish, geese, um, swans, and the peacocks. beautiful peacocks. So there's a lot to Vegas besides the strip, okay? And I thought it would be nice to showcase this to you guys. And of course, it's in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. So anyway, I hope you liked it. And let me know if you want me to do more of this type of video. But I'm going to end it here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.